Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 and 8 of Crest of the Stars. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. It just got cold in here. My thing is, well, and let me go ahead and say this now, Luffy, why don't you go ahead and look for him and then get the fuck out? But then at the same time, <laughs> Luffy all doesn't know where G Doy is. He's so worried. <laughs> oh my god, girl, this is complicated. <laughs> this is only episode seven. Like, something tells me I don't think she will kill the bottom, the bottom because I feel like he is still somewhat important. He has to be. But, because, see, you know what? He kind of reminds me of, I think, one character from Guardians of the Galaxy who, oh my god, what the fuck was his name? Oh, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Mother ever. What's your name? Um... I think it was the collector. Who oh, we we all knew he was evil. Finish. But he was pretending to be good in order to like just befriend the guardians and have um Oh god, because it's been a long time since I've seen the first movie. Um to have oh my god, was it like the freaking The Galactic Police? It was somebody to come and get the Guardians, right? And they literally almost killed everyone. And, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Go rewatch Guardians of the Galaxy, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm But, yeah, I'm very highly suspicious of him. Oh, this is when you're going to meet his dad, right? Why does it remind me of 999? And, and yeah, more of the sequel of 999. You need to look more human. Mm-hmm. Okay, then why don't you go find out? Or you know what? Jinto can just tell you straight up everything about what happened. No, just you. Yeah, how do we get out of here?
Yeah, of course you can't allow her access on that. Nobody gives a crap about him! Because he doesn't want his father saying it. <laughs> I swear to God, if I hear it one more time about approval. Because his father is in confinement and he doesn't give a shit about his dad. Like, what if it's one of his staff members? It's the same thing with Jinto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't think Jin Toh has that time to think! Yeah. I mean, in a way, he has to get back to laughing at his girlfriend. Only five. I was expecting 24. You know something. Why? You know, no matter how many times
once you say something, she's going to do it anyway. Oh God, he's creepy. Really? <laughs> you think that shit gonna happen? Mm okay. What if she goes with them? I mean, but that ship can only fit two people. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Do you really want to do that for the rest of your life? And also become your own person. <laughs> we don't have time for this we have to get out of here
damn, even a vent. A fucking vent is a no-go because there's a fan in the fucking way. Huh? I mean, hold up. He still could go into that vent legs first, kick the cat, the, the kick the crap out of the fan, and then just continue on and move. But then who knows where it's gonna take him? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, your son will get his dues justice. Mark my words. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, we need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, it would, but somebody might come down here, and then boom, you can get the fuck out. You fucking bitch. Go on. Of course he's here. Yeah, and then we getting the hell up out of here. It's a woman for you sometimes. She's like, no, we just gotta go with the dick. We gotta go with the dick.
Probably to kill you. This motherfucker! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> please, please let him die in this next episode. You expecting these two to get up there? now. And let me guess, we're not going to see that until the next episode. Probably. Watch. Just fucking watch. Okay. So now the fact is, she has to bring the ship to the freaking dock. Open up the hatch and get locked. Wrong person. Jinto out. Oh, what if we do? Did we not have rope? A ladder. Something. It's like, how in the world you expect him to get that and get the fuck up? Like, ah. Oh my god, this is complicated. But something still tells me. I'm a little skeptical on the Baden's father because, I, I don't know, it's like that, you, you know when someone rubs you the wrong way and you're like, bruh, I don't like the way that you make me feel. There's something about you. Like, you know how some people say they can quote unquote read people's auras or they have like a weird feeling about someone like... <laughs> this always happens to me all the time like I get weird like jittery feelings depending on who I meet and you know at first impressions and everything because you don't really know like if the feeling is a good feeling or a bad feeling so you have to kind of just like accept it and go through it and then you have to figure out what your relationship with that person is going to be like if it is going to be your downfall or you know the greatest thing that you ever had you know but I don't really trust the dad right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, I understand why he's, you know, confined and why his son did it. But still, at the same time, I feel like all them women is going to kill him. <laughs> My thing is like, okay, let me also talk about this before we go into the next episode. The The women who are with him, they have no other lives outside of this. So even if they wanted to leave, they couldn't. Yes, the ones who are currently with um, Lafayette, like, they're under her protection. And they might get, like, something good out of this. They might be able to have a better life than this. Because 
all the other bitches in this thing is just gonna be a servant for the rest of their lives until they die which isn't cool in my book like bro do you really want that are you really truly satisfied with being a maid for someone who is high up in power for the rest of your life i mean are you like here's my biggest thing you're getting paid for it I don't think so. <laughs> like, honestly, let's think about that real quick. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay, episode eight and three, two, one, go. And that's why they say don't fire a gun without closing your eyes. I mean, <laughs> that is damned if you do damned if you don't. So let's say this. Like, let's say the body does die today. Where the hell are all these women gonna go? Unless, you know, oh god. <laughs> Thinking about it, like, if these chicks are like, you know what, no, 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 I'm gonna go down with this ship. If he's going down, I'm going down with him too. No. <laughs> Please don't do that shit. No, I don't like that one bit. I, I mean, because, like, that's worse than, oh, God, and I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this. Okay. So, if any of you have seen The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and especially with how the f series ended um, abruptly with, this is spoilers towards the series on Netflix, so um, take out a grain of salt if you need to, just go ahead and skip this part. Um, Sabrina dies in the end, and her boyfriend, Nick, wants to be with her so bad that, in a way... He, I'm not really going to say the word, but he did that. Um, he went into the ocean, did some things, and then yeet, and now he's with Sabrina forever. And how a lot of people were really kind of pissed about that because we're romanticizing the S word and stuff. And that you really shouldn't romanticize the S word. Um, in media nowadays, especially with the fact is it's something that is very triggering towards anyone, especially even when I was younger and hearing about that as well. So yeah, like, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hmm? But what about you?
I really don't like the button. He's woo, he on that list of assholes. Honestly, yes, I like the sound of that. He need to go, because, like, whoo. It has to. Yeah, do you really want to stay there for the rest of your life? So now there's going to be like, how many people on this small, tiny, behind ship? Can they even fit everybody on this ship? So that'd be two. This guy is three, four, five, six people on this ship. Like, moody, that is impossible. Oh, thank God these two are okay. No, we just gotta get the girls and we can get the fuck up out of here. Wait, honey, did you just imagine that? He just imagined.
gonna die. Which means you're running out of air. That's what you said. Oh, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Sarah and I supposed to be going with the princess. She can't do that. Mm -mm, you better have somebody else with us. No. Exactly. But see, details still a little, a teeny tiny bit too nice, like Makoto from Danganronpa, but. <laughs> tells me that niceness is gonna go away And if you can't take care of your son, what are you going to do? She will kill him. We got eight minutes left. Eight minutes can change everything.
Sinatra. Or is it just faster? And we have no weapons, oh my god. Exactly. So you know what? There is no remorse. There is no trying to connect with your son. It's just blah, 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 and it. Of course. And the fact is that he he doesn't even he has a little remorse. He cried over his father for like a second. The fact is that he has to kill him, but I don't think he's gonna feel bad after doing it. And so that might overheat your ship and then make it explode. Mm. I mean, she did say she was going to kill him. Are we not surprised? I get that. Exactly. He would have had no remorse even if he did kill you three.
it is sad that, you know, she had to kill him, but it, it was them or him at the end of the day. She did it more in self-defense, in my opinion, not, you know, like, seeking it out for murder and such. But I think, in a way, if it was the bot on killing them, he would have did it straight up for murder and such. But he still wanted the prince, well, Lavi, to, like, trade her. So, like I said, I get it on why she killed him. It's self-defense, in my opinion, and it's nothing else. She did it to protect herself and others. So now they just need to go get fuel, come back, get what's the face, and get the fuck up out of here, and never return to these bitches. But now, since the bottom is officially gone, is the senior bottom going to take his place? in the following episodes that's the biggest thing that we're probably like i'm probably wondering going into the next few episodes and such because who really knows i i mean oh god but i i was expecting his death to be more like gruesome in a way it, it felt very quick that's all that's all like it, not really half ass, but just quick I, and I was expecting more. It's kind of like, you know, how, like, when Bellatrix died in Harry Potter and how everybody was expecting so much and she died, like, in 10 seconds and everybody was like, are you kidding me? Uh, okay, okay. That could literally mean anything. You, you show me a really nice, beautiful scenery and such. But I was expecting them to also show, like, what the freak was going to be happening with these chicks. And now that they're going to have to, like, go close the shuttle of the hatch and everything. But no, you didn't show that. So, of course, we got to wait until next week. But really, these two episodes were so fucking good. I wasn't expecting a lot of that stuff to go down that did. And what did go down like oh my god like jesus christ and i feel like it's just gonna get better and better the weeks that we get into this because i don't even know we're not really at the halfway point i think give it to probably like what episode 12 i believe that's when we'll officially be by the halfway point but yeah i really enjoyed these two episodes a lot but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 7 and 8 of crest of the stars if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10 bye guys